Hello, and welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about what an honors education can give you in terms of your future, whether it includes continuing education or jumping straight into the workforce. Often, students want to know what the point of honors is and how it can help them achieve their goals. An honors education can help set you apart, not only as a student, but also as a professional, and give you the confidence and skills to be successful no matter where you go. At the Missouri State University Honors College, we stress active student participation in the learning process. That means we want you to engage with your professors and peers in academic discussion. We also want you to have a chance to get invested in the things you study and take a deeper dive into the topics and concepts that most interest you. Honors courses at Missouri State are designed to help students develop critical thinking skills through interdisciplinary study, research, and concise scholarly writing. We want our students to come away from their honors education knowing how to think deeply about an issue and make connections, read thoughtfully, and write well. In high school, the honors courses you took probably required more work, more assignments, more reading, more writing. The work was also likely more challenging than standard courses. Honors in college is not about that. Instead, an honors education focuses on you as the student and your own ideas and thoughts about the world. Rather than handing you information and expecting it to be repeated back one time on a test or exam, we empower you to apply that information and form educated and articulate opinions about it. The reason our class sizes are kept small is to encourage you to get to know your classmates and instructors and have the opportunity to share your views and deliberate about ideas. We want to foster a space where student views are respected and where students are encouraged to share and consider ideas. Because of this, students in the Honors College often admit their Honors courses were easier than their standard courses. This is not because the material is necessarily easier, but because the students have learned about the topic and truly internalized the information through robust academic discussions with each other and with expert faculty. Like the National Collegiate Honors Council explains, Honors education is about developing your fullest intellectual potential. Your honors education will look different from the standard college experience. Often, standard courses are lecture heavy with large class sizes. Students are to read and study to memorize material for a test. Assignments are standardized without extensive room for creativity. In fact, the instructor may sometimes assign a topic for a student to write about and tell the student what position to take and what to argue for. The instructors of these standard courses, especially in the general education program, must teach to the lowest common denominator because students might not have all had a standardized secondary education experience. For example, in a standard college writing course, the instructor will need to tailor the course to catch everyone up to the same writing level, from the student who was in honors English all through high school to the student who was never assigned a single research paper and so has never learned argumentation. The honors course experience is different. Rather than an instructor standing in a large hall and speaking at students, smaller class sizes allow for active participation in discussion-based courses. Students debate and consider ideas and perspectives rather than memorizing facts and basics. In honors, there's an emphasis on research, the creation of new ideas and material. Students don't need to just memorize. Rather, they need to take in information and use it to answer larger questions, make connections, argue and defend a position, and use that information in a larger context. Where the standard course experience might need to give multiple choice Scantron exams and worksheet style assignments because there are simply too many students to test any other way, the honors course assignments will be writing based, allowing you to express your own ideas and demonstrate knowledge and mastery of the material rather than simple memorization of it. Students will also learn to make connections between disciplines, talking and writing about how science can affect politics or law, or the ways economics can impact sociological structures, or how writing contributes to marketing and business. Students are taught and encouraged to look at issues from the lens of different fields to create a clearer picture and find creative solutions to problems. The world itself is interdisciplinary. Rarely are you ever going to speak to coworkers only about pure biology or psychology or music theory. Instead, your work and discussions in the professional world will always include concepts and ideas from other disciplines too. 
Rather than specializing so intensely you will not be able to enjoy nuanced discussions and creative problem solving, the honors courses you take will help encourage you to think about your specialization from the perspective of other fields. In the Honors College experience, you'll focus on experiential learning both in and outside the classroom. You'll perform your major in real-world settings, from laboratories to nonprofits, and get a hands-on look at your future career. You'll also have the opportunity to design your own classes and projects focused exclusively on the ideas and concepts you're most passionate about. In Honors courses, you get to lead and develop your leadership skills. We want to put you in the driver's seat of your own education and experience and empower you to guide others along the way. At Missouri State, the Honors College is a small but distinguished part of the university community. You represent 7% of the undergraduate population, immediately setting you apart from other graduates. Our students consistently surpass the average Missouri State University GPA by quite a bit. The average GPA of Honors students continues to climb. In the 2014-2015 school year, the average GPA of honors students was 3.72. In the 2018-2019 school year, that number grew to 3.75. 90% of honors students graduate with a 3.5 or higher GPA, compared to just 27% of average MSU students. And 31% of our students graduate summa cum laude with a 3.9 or higher, compared to just 5% of average Missouri State students. Honors College students can distinguish themselves further by receiving distinction in their major, a nationally recognized achievement listed on a student's degree and transcripts that shows completion of an independent, self-designed course of study within the major. We sometimes hear that students think employers won't care about participation in the Honors Program. This is actually not the case. The hard and soft skills you learn from your Honors experience will set you apart from other applicants when you go for a job. In this case, you just need to know how to market those skills. While having Missouri State University Honors College listed on your resume is not an immediate ticket to being hired, taking advantage of the Honors College's opportunities and resources and discussing them on a resume or in an interview can make you an attractive candidate. Many of our students move forward and find success in rewarding and high-powered careers as a result of the work they do during their undergraduate career. There are so many skills you get from participating in your honors courses and completing projects and experiential learning that are often listed on job ads. Though you obtain these skills in the classroom, they are considered transferable, meaning you can list them on your resume. In honors, you learn to participate in groups, engage with peers, collaborate with others, lead and develop your leadership, be flexible and make compromises, resolve conflicts peacefully and professionally, speak publicly, lead ethically, and understand and respect cultural differences. You can also add these problem-solving skills to a resume. Many job postings will list critical thinking and information literacy, as well as creative problem-solving, as essential skills for top applicants. In the age of big data, quantitative analysis is even more important than it ever was. Because you'll be looking at research, often research that includes quantitative data, the ability to analyze, understand, and use this information is a skill you can transfer to your career and list on your resume. Students who graduate with honors can demonstrate oral and written communication and argumentation skills, easily one of the top skills employers look for in job candidates. Students in the Honors College will also have experience developing sophisticated proposals both for grants and for projects. Independence and accountability are two other skills you can add to your resume as a direct result of your experiences and honors. Because you've taken control of your own learning and academic career, you were able to learn to take initiative, advocate for yourself, exercise self-discipline, and hold yourself accountable like a true professional would. Because you didn't have your instructors hounding you or holding your hand, you know how to work independently in your industry and outside it. In an interview and, to a lesser extent, on your resume, you can discuss experiences you have had that the average student in the average curriculum will not have had. For example, you can list your experiential learning as work experience if you performed service learning or an apprenticeship in your major, or you can talk about it when an interviewer asks for a time you exercised leadership. You can also talk about your experiences attending or presenting at national conferences, 
writing proposals for courses or grant funding, publishing or working in publishing with logos or other research journals, and learning with, from, and about diverse people and ideas. Based on the work you did in honors, you can also demonstrate management of high expectations, responses to criticism and feedback, and composure under pressure. You can also demonstrate a willingness to take advantage of opportunities, try new things, and set yourself apart from the group. These are all talking points that can be discussed outright or at least implied during an interview. More than anything, though, your education in the Honors College will increase your confidence in yourself as a professional. Because you're in control, making your own decisions and holding yourself accountable for your learning, you'll have practice in these areas and feel confident making educated decisions and doing high-quality work when you move forward with your career. Honors education empowers you to be confident in yourself and your abilities and to foster the passions that make you who you are. Many of the top traits employers have repeatedly said they look for in applicants are the skills and experiences you can get from your time in the Honors College. Susan Adams with Forbes magazine found out the top traits and skills employers seek in order of importance. Employers want to see teamwork and collaboration above all else. They want candidates who are team players and can engage in group work effectively. They want professionals capable of making decisions and solving problems creatively and independently. They want individuals able to plan, organize, and prioritize their work responsibly. Especially in young people, employers want to see good verbal communication skills across diverse audiences and an ability to obtain and process information for later application. Employers also want to see candidates with the ability to analyze quantitative data accurately. Further on the list, employers do want to see technical knowledge in the field but you should note where this falls in relation to other skills you obtain. Understanding your major and getting job training is extremely important, but the multidisciplinary soft and problem-solving skills you develop are in just as high demand. Employers also want to see proficiency with software and computer programs, usually those most pertinent to the position. You'll develop some of this within your major, but much of it is learned on the job as companies in the same industry do not always use the same software. When you know how to solve problems, research, and use your resources effectively, you can pick up and demonstrate proficiency with almost any computer program. That initiative to learn will be just as important as long-term experience with each specific software. Finally, employers want to see clear writing and editing skills and developed persuasion skills. In honors, you develop a stronger writing ability and can better articulate information. You also learn effective argumentation, which can easily influence others and sell them on an idea or concept using logic. In most fields, communication skills and the ability to work well with and for others are of top importance. You'll grow your skills in these areas in your honors courses. You'll also learn how to keep yourself and your assignments organized, meet deadlines, solve problems, and do research, all of which are important to a variety of industries when you begin your job search. You can see from this graph that there are pretty large skill gaps across disciplines in writing, communication and service, and presentation skills, among others. Your work in the classroom in these areas will directly transfer to the workforce, meaning you'll likely be an attractive candidate for many employers. So what do you do to get from your time in the Honors College to that dream job? Well, you'll want to learn to market yourself. You should learn about the skills needed in your field or fields and reflect on the ways your experiences in honors and your degree program have helped you develop some of those high demand skills. If you find you're still missing some, take advantage of opportunities through your program and through the Honors College to start developing those skills and gaining relevant experience. You can also use the Career Center on campus to learn more about integrating your honors experiences on your resume and cover letter, in your portfolios of work, and in job interviews. Your experiences in college, in the classroom, and in honors do count as relevant experience that will transfer to your career, and these can help you build your brand. No matter where you are in your undergraduate career right now, you can start thinking about your experiences and selecting opportunities to take advantage of. 
As you learn new things, keep stock of them. You can have a large resume file documenting all your experiences. When it comes time to apply for a job or a graduate program, you can choose the most relevant to include on your resume and tailor it for each specific position and program. We hope that upon graduating, you'll be able to find a rewarding career in your field and use what you've learned during your time in the Honors College. We wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors and hope you'll take advantage of some of our opportunities. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your Honors Advisors via email, over the phone, or by dropping into the office.